Welcome back to my high performance dojo. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tools to break free from your depression. Now to start, I just wanna say that you are not alone. So many people in the United States and the world in general deal with depression on a consistent basis. Actually, the numbers show that over 19 million people do. But luckily for you, there are some tools that you can utilize starting today to start to break free from your depression. So let's get into what those might be. So first, let's just start by defining depression. Depression is not just feeling bad or sad or uninterested in things you used to like. If, if that's something you experience, that's something that we all experience. All of us experience the symptoms of depression over short periods of time. It's just part of the human experience and it's completely natural. What makes depression depression is the extended period of suffering. So when you're suffering for over two weeks and you're constantly in this cycle of feeling depressed and sad and just always thinking about all the things wrong in your life and you don't feel interested in the things that you used to be interested in and you just feel completely drained of energy. And so when you're stuck in this state of being for more than two weeks, you're dealing with depression. And the only way to get you out is to break the cycle because you're in a cycle right now. That's what it is. And the only way to break you out is to change the energy. If you don't change your energy, you won't change your mental state. And really the core issue that causes depression is an imbalance in your hormones. That's what it comes down to. And so when your hormones are imbalanced, we know that your energy system is out of balance. So we're gonna focus on your energy system to get you rocking and rolling again. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is start by eliminating things that may be causing your depression. And so you need to go on a little bit of a detox. And I actually made a video going deep into this and all the things you can do to detoxify your mind in a video that I'll link up here in the corner of the screen right now. But some high level things I'll mention quickly are you need to detoxify yourself from negative environments. If you're constantly going places where it's bringing you back into these depressed states, stop going to them. If you're constantly around negative people that are just feeding your negative states, these depressive states, stop spending time with those people. If you're constantly taking in drugs or substances that are making you end up back in these depressive states, stop taking those. If you're constantly taking in excessive amounts of processed food, refined sugar and carbs, those kind of things can also lead to this depressive state. So everything that you put in your body is affecting your energy and it's gonna affect the way you feel. And as long as you continue with the bad habits, you're not gonna be able to break free from this cycle you're in. And I'm someone who even goes so far to believe that prescription drugs are just a band-aid to this issue. Yes, do they artificially pump the hormones you want in your body and the neurotransmitters? Yes, they definitely do that. But what happens when you stop taking those pills? You're gonna go back to that same cycle. So instead of taking pills, let's break free from all of it and detox from the pills as well and start to just input positivity into our life and get rid of and eliminate all of those negative things that you were doing before. At your core, you just wanna balance your energy system. And when you balance your energy system, your hormones are gonna be balanced and you're gonna get the right neurotransmitters firing so you have the dopamine, the serotonin, all those feel good hormones are gonna make you feel good. Step two is to change your beliefs. If you're consistently stuck in this cycle of depression, then you're gonna end up with beliefs that probably say things along the lines of, I'm worthless, I'm not worth anything, I'm stupid, I don't deserve to be happy. And you may not even know that these beliefs exist, but they're all going on on the subconscious level. So consciously, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, I deserve to be happy. But subconsciously, you have these beliefs that are running a program that are gonna keep you stuck in this depressive cycle. So to identify your beliefs and then change them, you need to be going deep into your subconscious mind. Now, I created a playlist to walk you through this process. And if you've been dealing with depression a long time, I know I'm giving you a couple of different resources to use, but understand that this is a great long-term fix. It's much better than just taking a pill. So if you want the playlist that's gonna help you overcome these limiting beliefs and move into beliefs that are gonna serve you, check it out, go open in a new tab. It's linked in the corner of the screen right now. The reason why it works when you change your beliefs is because your beliefs create your reality. Your beliefs are constantly changing the way you feel, the way you behave, what and who you're attracted to, and what and who is attracted to you. So until your beliefs change, your state of being in this cycle of depression is not gonna change. So definitely go do the exercise, change your beliefs, you will change your life. Step number three is to start training your mind. Now I've talked about this in past videos. If you have a heart disease, 
and your doctor knows that. He's gonna say, okay, well, you should start exercising so you can build your muscle, which is your heart, and all the other muscles in your body because you're weak right now. The same thing goes for our mind, but we never talk about this. We're always talking about the aesthetics and the physical body, but we never talk about the mind and how to strengthen the mind because when the mind is weak, then we get mental diseases, we get chronic anxiety, we get depression, we get all these disorders that come from a weak mind. So what you can do is train yourself in mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness and meditation help build that mental muscle to allow you to control how you feel in the present moment at all times. Because what happens is you start to gain this greater awareness. You start to realize, oh, I don't feel good right now. And you can ask the question, well, why don't I feel good? Okay, well, let's deal with that issue. Let's come back to the present moment. Let's start feeling good. What do I need to feel good? All right, let's meditate on something that makes me feel good, which is gratitude. And gratitude is an incredible practice for changing the way you feel from a depressive state to a happy state because when you're grateful, you feel good. You can't feel depressed when you're grateful. So start to go over things every single day. The least you can do is go through a list of things you're grateful for. You're grateful to be alive. You're grateful to be here on planet Earth with air to breathe, running water, food to eat, people who love you. Go through the list of all the things you're grateful for because even when you're in your worst, there's always something to be grateful for. And then finally, if you would like a tool to do more meditations, I have a seven day free meditation experience. And this meditation experience is actually very easy for you. All you have to do is listen to it. It's guided meditations, goes over seven days, and it'll start to build that mental muscle for you. So I linked that up in the description below. All you have to do is download my app. It's available on iOS, on Android, and if you do this for seven days, you're gonna to start to feel a shift in your mind and you're gonna to start to feel yourself shift out of these depressive states into a more present and peaceful state of mind. Step four is to change your habits. Basically do the opposite of what you've been doing if you're constantly feeling depressed. So spend more time out in nature, spend more time outside, spend more time moving your body or doing exercise, trying things like yoga, ride a bike, just go for walks outside. Start to do all the things that you weren't doing before because you're getting the results you're getting doing the things you're currently doing. If you want different results, you gotta do different things. Some other things you can try are putting yourself in social situations with positive people, trying to get involved in a positive community, challenging yourself. So a lot of times we feel depressed because we're actually bored. We don't have anything to put ourselves into. So see if there's a project you can throw yourself into, challenge yourself in some way and just go back to doing things that you used to be interested in, things that used to be fun, try doing them again, throw yourself into them. So in summary, my belief, my core fundamental belief is that depression is a mental disease that is curable in the same way that we can cure something like heart disease. All you have to do is commit to changing your actions and changing the way you consistently think about your life. So if you constantly keep thinking, you know what, I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm just depressed, there's nothing I can do about it, that's gonna be a reality. This will keep on going, it's only gonna get worse. But if you take back the power and you realize that if I do the tools, I do the exercises I learned in this video today, I do that consistently, I take action, I start to meditate, I start to get more present, I start to take back control of my own mind and my own life, then things can change and I can cure myself. That's my core fundamental belief. And that is my hope for you. So if this video was helpful, definitely subscribe, uh, comment. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you wanna reach out to me personally, you can always do so. I'm available all over the internet at ZenMasterF on Twitter, on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know you have the potential to overcome your depression and I know you will if you take the actions that you've learned in this video. Thanks for watching. This is Brandon Epstein, AKA ZenMasterF. Catch you in the next video.